Hey, what's going on guys? All right, so I had a couple questions in the comments recently throughout some of my videos. Folks are wondering how, if you have a Garmin 430 and a 530, you've got this real SimGear stuff set up, how do you get the actual Laminar Research version of your Garmin 530 and your 430 onto your uh, physical device here that you have the, the buttons on and all that good stuff, right? So let's see if we can figure that out. So it's really not that hard. Once you've got this working and you've got your uh, device working as a monitor and you've installed the Real Sim, Go Real Sim Gear installer, um, you should have a plug-in up here. So if you go here and go to Real Sim Gear device, you should be able to find it in connected hardware, I believe. And then it'll come up down here. So the 530 should be on COM1. And that's but when I say COM1, we're not talking about COM ports. We're talking about like COM1, like your radio COM1. Um, and then the 430 is probably going to be on COM2. Okay. And it looks like it's actually giving me potentially which COM port they're on, but it's not telling me anything about my G5s. So that's great. Okay. So um, now that we know that that's there, um, you will have a real sim gear installer. You can run that. And what it does is it will remove the bezel. So what you're going to do is click on this. And then down at the bottom left here, you'll see that it's actually brought up kind of a transparent version of this and uh, what's going to happen once you've run that real sim gear installer for your garmin 530 and your 430 it removes the bezel and it makes this so that it's transparent and clear like that with no bezel that's the idea here because we're going to put it on the, the physical version which has its own bezel now up here in the top right i don't know if you can see that on camera but there's a little uh icon up here so you can see if you click it it turns it into an actual that was in the top right corner there okay so that turns it into a basically a window that can be moved around and then you're going to take that and you're just going to move it around if you've already set up your uh, all your device settings and all that stuff then you should be able to move it onto your 430 or your 530. this works the same exact way with the 430 okay um, so once you get it in there just hit that uh, expand it so that it maximizes there it is, and then you should be able to uh, change things and use it just like you normally would. Okay, um, so that's how uh, you move your device for, or from the 530 or the 430 onto your 530 or 430 physical version with no bezel. Hopefully you guys have found this helpful. If you guys have any questions, throw them down in the comments, hit that like and subscribe button. See you guys in another video. Take care. Hey, if you haven't already done so, head over to EliteSimBuild.com, grab a copy of our Home Flight Simulator resource guide, do that thing where you click the button, give us your email address, and we will send you a copy of our simulator guides where you can get the resource list, the avionics reviews, a panel blueprint, so that way you guys can send that off to your panel guy, get all the parts and pieces that you need, you'll know exactly what software to pick up so you can get your Cessna 172 Flight Simulator built today.